hi hi we shall be developing structural equation model structural equation model which is known SEM and we have the data such as education and income and spending okay and here the education is the dependent variable income and spending are the independent variable so last time we uh, we estimated last time we estimated unstandardized unstandardized estimates right but now we shall estimate standardized estimates using the same data that we used okay however here uh, uh, I am showing you all the data again so the data is here the data is here spending income and education right and we went we, we, and and, uh, and we have to go to the estimate so I go to estimate I go to statistics then I go to SEM model then model building estimations choose it okay so it is coming up okay it has come up so as before as before so as before uh, I shall be choosing this one right this uh, icon and uh, I shall be putting here as before the dependent variable is education as before and spending and income are the independent variable as before then here I choose the left right independent variables direction so I take it left then ok okay this is my model and I make it big I, I can make it big I make it 150 even I can make it 200 percent right so big now uh, sorry and uh, I and here you can see that we have two variables spending and income these two are in, in, in independent variable and here this uh, education is the dependent variable so this thing I already explained uh, in, in the previous video so what I am doing I am connecting this to line to boxes as before so I take it up as before and I deselect this one okay and what I do I make it spread so that you can see better okay okay so this is my model I have set and I can estimate the model and, uh, and here I go to estimation and I check the estimate 
okay and if i click okay then the estimation would be unstandardized and that we have already done it but this time we shall estimate the standardized estimates not unstandardized i'm i am saying again this time we shall estimate standardized estimate not unstandardized okay so in that case i have to go click on the reporting i have to click on the reporting and i have to select this one display standardized coefficient and values right so i select this one then everything is set so the result i click okay so the result has come up as before it is coming up gradually mm. yes the result has come up you can see the outcome you can see the outcome here you can see all the results are here as before and here we can see the i make it small slightly okay and these are the outcomes right these are the outcomes structure allocation model and here is the you know that uh, here is the our uh, the model but this one is standardized estimates this time is standardized estimate so this so there are two independent variable one is spending and income so these two are independent variables and this education is the dependent variable and here the spending yeah uh, is it significant variable to explain education okay i check the probability value probability value is 10.9% which is more than 5% so when the probability is more than 5% then that particular variable is not significant meaning that spending cannot uh, spending is not a significant variable to explain education and then what about income is it significant okay the p value is very little less than 5% so when the probability value is less than 5% then that particular variable becomes significant meaning that income is a significant variable to explain education okay then what about the covariance that means uh, this one i come up here here we can see the covariance is minus 0.075 it is this one right minus 0.075 okay that is the covariance but but the thing is that here when i estimate the standard standardized uh, estimate then this thing is no longer covariance actually it is the 
correlation between spending and income right but when we estimate the unstandardized uh, estimate then it is covariance but when we select the standardized estimates then it is no longer covariance it becomes correlation so meaning that this value actually is the value of correlation between spending and income okay can we set the null hypothesis what is null hypothesis there is no correlation between spending and income in the population and what is alternative hypothesis there is correlation right between these two variable okay and here we check the results you can see uh, and uh, and uh, how much is our p value probability value you can see the p value uh, probability value is 83% which is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is no correlation between spending and income in the population so that is the outcome of this standardized estimates and finally we talk about model fit the more we can talk about model fit that is lr test right probability value you can see probability value but here is no probability value is there so we cannot take a decision about the model but normally uh, if the probability value is more than 5% then we say model is fit and if the probability value is less than 5% then model is not fit so here there is no probability value so uh, we, we cannot say anything right so um, thank you very much for being with me for a while